well, good morning. <laughs> it also told me it wasn't recording. <laughs> no sound. I, I don't know why it does that. Anyway, the title for this video on the 17th of October is Who Has the Answers to Help Fix the World? Yesterday I watched, listened, to presentations about two men offering solutions to the world's problems. The first one is Stage 2 Innovations. Quote, a hundred million dollar stage two investment fund established to accelerate the large-scale commercialization of innovative patentable technologies in the global market. The core leadership of this fund is comprised of I don't even <laughs> the name Manaj Bargava a billionaire philanthropist who has pledged 90% of his wealth to charity and research, end quote. The second one is the Keshe Foundation. I played their free energy conference all the way through. Interesting. He has been around for a while and is more familiar to me. They both offer benefits that cannot help but make things better for most people, especially those in the third world. And that last sentence, especially for those in the third world, I don't know how readily available even these things are going to be. I don't know about the Keshe Foundation, but the, the ones for uh, the stage two innovations. Um, I'd love to have the electric bicycle that would generate power for my house and allow me to get totally off the grid. I mean, that would be ultimately something that I would really appreciate as well as the thing that helps uh, you sit and lay in this thing and it it cuts off circulation to the legs or it alternates the circulation to the legs to help pump the blood get the blood moving up to the heart uh, so it, it, it improves the circulation now that would certainly help the situation with my feet now as far as the desalinization that would help on a, on a larger scale, but of course there's no way that I could take advantage of that or the average person because we don't, um, unless we live right on the ocean or something or in a uh, saltwater uh, location, it wouldn't really make much difference to us. But the other two, for me, would certainly be beneficial. However, it appears that they're first going to be made available to uh, those in, in third world countries. The United States has a lot of business and financial bl blocks to keep good innovations from being marketed quickly. Uh, I mean, it's very, very expensive in the United States uh, because of the cabal, of course. And who has the answers to fix the world? If we don't address the political uh, the political bullshit, <laughs> uh, I was going to say chicanery, but same thing. If we don't address that, and if we don't address the, the, the religious ideas that separate us from one another, which have been pushed by the cabal in the, in the uh, modification of, of Christianity and Islam and, and Judaism and, and the other world religions, they, they make us separate from each other. Instead of building unity, they build division. And that's part of the game plan of the dark establishment of the cabal. And that's really what needs to be addressed. Who has the answers to help fix the world? Will it be science? Yes, science has a contribution to make. That's why I talked talking about these inventions of these uh, of these amazing people. Now, uh, Cash, I don't. As many times as I've watched his stuff, I have no clue, honestly, no clue how his technology actually works. It's a higher science from his point of view. Uh, but I don't have a point of reference to know how it could even be experienced by, by us. It sounds wonderful, but I can't, I can't tell you 
how it's going to work. And maybe I should have watched instead of just listened. Uh, but it was a long time. And I mean, I was doing other things as it was on. It was playing. It played the whole thing live, not even a record, not even after it was recorded. It played the whole thing live. But I still, quite, quite, quite honestly, don't understand the technology. Now, I, I'd like to uh, maybe even interview somebody at some point that does understand it and have them explain how this could benefit. I mean, the idea of uh, being able to, to, to um, have free energy and just create it out of the ethers, which apparently is what he's saying can be done. I mean, wow, then I wouldn't even need the bicycle thing to, to create my electricity. It's a totally different, a different ball game. And I'm all in favor of technologies that will advance and make life easier for humanity. But the cabal, of course, doesn't see ben a financial benefit in that because they want to have the game plan with the false finances and the money system. The money system is the impediment to growth in so many areas, even the religious area. The financial system uh, influences that because they brainwash the, the priesthood, if you will, the, the clergy, uh, to teach things that are that twist the basic truth that we're all children of God, and they try to make it uh, se so separate children of God who are Christians from children of God who are Muslims, from children of God who are Jews, from children of God who are Hindu or Buddhist or even atheist. We're all children of a Creator. We didn't put ourselves here. We're part of creation. And the Creator gave us certain unalienable rights. Now, that's a fact. Now, we forgot and we've been lied to, but nevertheless, we have potential that has been untapped by far and large because we've been told we were sinners, we've been told we were less than what we really are, and we've been led, led down a path that does not allow us to obtain and attain our potential. Obtain meaning the things that we need, but attain meaning the growth that we need, the growth in consciousness, the growth in, in our personhood, so that we can recognize that we are here as part of each other, but to serve ourselves and each other, and each other. Not just each other, not the other, but ourself too. To build our own being to the point where we become the best Ron I can be, the best you you can be. That's the goal. That's the goal. Who has the answers to help fix the world? We all do, but we don't believe we do. We don't believe we have the answers, but the answers are in us and they've always been within us. We just don't hear that still small voice that speaks and reminds us who we are. We don't hear that because it's been silenced by the cacophony of the system, of the cabal, of the matrix, whatever you want to call it. It's been silenced so that we don't hear it. We don't spend the time in meditation and listen to that still small voice within us that reminds us who we are and empowers us with that knowledge. I'd like to see the answers that fix the world become manifest and actually do the job of fixing the world. I don't believe that's going to happen as long as we have the cabal empowered in their fictional world, with their fictional financial system, with their fictional business system, with their fictional government system. We've got to get rid of the fiction and step into reality because only reality will fix the world. That's the answer. Namaste.